everyone, it's Emma Milton, the Spiritual Personal Assistant, um, your PA for the soul. Um, today I've been getting heaps of requests for people that are really interested in tarot, which is awesome. So um, there are all different types of tarot and um, all different ways that you can approach it. My only thing that I would say is go to what resonates, do what resonates. Um, there's no right or wrong. Um, yeah. So I guess my first pack that resonated with me and that I've found has resonated with a lot of first people starting out on their soul search is a Doran Virtue pack called Messages from Your Angels. Um, so these are beautiful cards. These um, are all set up, come with a little handbook that basically help you um, work out what the card means. I also have the app for this on my phone, so whenever I have... Um, a dark day or just am feeling a little bit lost which is totally normal and that's what life's all about school of knocks um, I find myself um, drawing these cards like right now I'm really keen to draw one so bear with me I'm going to oh, it's basically saying that someone that's passed away is with me which is really nice um, yeah these are these are great I've I've made some big life decisions with these as, as my confirming guidance so um, drawing virtues messages from your angels it's a really good start um, my other my newest um, card deck that I just love is by um, the star star child tarot um, and they're beautiful these are essentially like a mystic modern mystics indie boho child hipster new um, fad and the cards let me just show you I'm just gonna randomly pick up some are just beautiful Crystals, angels, oh, they're just like stunning, right? Like just stunning. Um, and again, the pack is definitely more targeted towards a more traditional tarot in terms of their meaning, but they also come from a beautiful little book that helps to um, give you guidance on what they, what that means, it tells you about the chakras, the gemstones that you can use, other symbols, um, and basically gives you a an introduction in terms of what that card might mean for you and they're beautiful they're pretty um, the last pack that I really love is a little bit different it's um, all another very popular pack following on from um, drawing virtues cards and they're called medicine cards I actually got these in New York from the guidance of a very um, beautiful soul called Scott um, and I'm just addicted to them thank you Scott I'm so glad I, I got them um, they're definitely not as beautiful <laughs> as the other cards. They're a lot more simple, um, but the meanings is a lot more profound. And I find that when you're doing a reading for yourself or someone else with them, you find that you naturally start to think a lot more about the animals and what that can mean. Um, yeah, I did a reading for a, a beautiful lady the other day, and she got the scroll. And when you think about everything that the scroll can tell you about hiding things away and lots of hard work and, and storing things and you know it was easy to think about that she is obviously in a state of needing to gather up she's she's writer gather up information get all of her ducks in a row so that when it comes to that hibernation time of being able to write everything is already there and she's got enough soul food to feed off um, through that whole process it was also hilarious because she's got a squirrel problem in her backyard and she keeps getting angry because they keep on um, stealing all the bird feed out of her bird feeder. I said, well, they're there for a reason, pay attention. So that is um, your tarot, messages from your angels, the star chart, tarot and medicine cards. One tip, make sure that you do put a clear quartz on your cards. Um, this is one of the quickest and easiest ways to cleanse your cards. If other people are touching your cards or you're doing reading for other people, it's very easy for the energy um, to be transferred onto the cards. And the last thing you want to do is be pulling a card that you think is for yourself that's actually for someone else. So I just have a nice little pack that I, I put my cards in and I just put a clear quartz in them and know that that, that will help cleanse them. So happy um, soul searching, everybody. Tarot cards are a great start. There are some great apps out there. Um, they both have just the same um, combination of success. I actually really like apps because, you know, electricity is energy. Um, you know, they, you guys can connect with you just as well through through smartphone um, tarot apps. So don't be put off um, by the less traditional. Um, we are modern mystics after all. So yeah, happy soul searching.